Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I am going to be talking about the SX-04. As you can tell, I got rid of the Jeep Ultra 4 body. Took off the light bar just to see. If this looks better. The light bar looks better. And it doesn't, so. Um, my little workbench is a little messy right now, so. The, that's because I got the new AX servo and I just got it installed. So you can see right there. Just a little heads up. Um, those servo horns, they have their holes on the screws are a little too tight. Just let that focus right there. Okay, it won't focus, but um, the little screws on the servo, the little screw holes on the servo horn is um, too small for the screws for the, what is it called, the steering arms, or I think that's what it's called, and um, it's just too small to fit inside so you would have to like drill or make make the whole little um bigger to fit that little screw in there but yeah so and i already tried the one with the four-way but yeah um it won't fit also and it just broke off so i have to use this kind of servo horn so Thank goodness they have more servo horn options that comes with it. They have this one, which just seems like a little weird. And this circle one for some reason, which is a little, also a little weird. Um, but if you want, I'm gonna open up the body, show you what it's inside. I, so I have the body half cut. I cut off the bed, um, made an aluminum hood. Oh, and yeah, the I um, double-sided taped magnets to the battery and the body. And I also made little, I don't know what they're called, but they're cardboard to make the body a little more stable and stuff. And there's the little wires I, what is it called? I zip tied them together. And here's inside, it's all stock. Don't have any low CGI things. I moved up the shock towers to, um, the shocks would be right there in that hole in the bottom. But I moved it up there to the shock towers. I mean, to the body towers. And so also with the rear. And I also made a little tail whip using a spring and then I super glued a long paper clip to it. So now it just like wags and stuff like a little dog tail. And there's a servo. And I have Coda Racing steering arms, which are really cheap. They're like $10 and they're super amazing. They're pretty good. I have the I don't know what they're called, but it's some kind of um, brass stiff cover. Um, I don't know what they're called either, but it's um, a stiff skid plates, I think. And front and rear diff covers and skid plates. So yeah, that's cool. And what else did I add to this? Okay, um, the body, there you go. Made it, I tried to make it, I trimmed the body for the bigger CRT in wheels and tires. Um, I got a Power Hobby motor, which I already talked about. And I opened up the, what do you call it? The gear box. So you could see the spur gear and the pinion gear. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about about this thing. Huh. Yeah, um, this is probably where I'll start filming my videos. 
So yeah. So for the Emacs servo though, you'll have to sand the sides a little bit. You'll have to clip. Uh, I won't focus. You have to clip the mounting spot so you could have it flex. So um, these would work fine to clip them. I just need to find where it is. Some wire cutters, I think they're called. Uh, I don't know where they are. Yeah, I think I lost them, but um, I'll show you in another video. I'll try to show you, but um, I also moved the ESC. I don't know why. It's probably a dumb choice. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, um, get ready to see more videos of this sweet thing. And I'll show you how powerful this Emacs servo is. It's a little bit slower, though, than the original slower, and then the original servo. But it still has a lot more power. I'll try to show a running video soon, but with it to show how much power this thing has, but it's amazing. So yeah, I think that's the whole video. That should be it. Uh, have a good day, everyone. And like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you know when I'm gonna be ma making another video of one of these soon. And comment what else should I do to this thing? Maybe some mofo stuff. Um, I don't know about mofo, actually, because the shipping cost and stuff is, like, horrendous. Well, with my budget, I'm going to be doing this as a budget build. So that everyone, it's affordable for everyone who doesn't have much money to spend it on. These air shocks I found on Amazon. I think they're air, they're called air something. But, um, these were $15.00. These Coda Racing um, steering rods are $10. This Emacs Servo on eBay is $10 also. These diff covers, front and gear to get and gear, <laughs> um, front and rear together are $16. These skid plates, front and rear, are both $10. These CR18 wheels and tires are um about i think um 13 dollars or 18 dollars um yeah everything else is free i do custom mods sometimes so yeah i hope you hope you enjoyed this video have a good day goodbye